Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, in today's video, right, we will continue with the Amazon part 32 SQL interview questions. Uh, so we will cover the we will cover the same table that we uh, covered last time, which is in the part 31, uh, which is jobs underscore salary underscore dim. Uh, so if you look at this table, right, it is basically having a, a different job IDs uh, and then for each job ID there are various applicants and then whether they those applicants received the offer or not and they accepted the offer or not and then what was the salary offered and final salary right I mean see salary they can receive an offer they might accept it or reject it and then if they go with the uh, go ahead with the offer uh, the salary that they offer they agreed upon the final salary or not right um, so something uh, you know basically it's kind of a you can say storing a data of linkedin or indeed or any other job profile or any other job portal sorry uh, so uh, it's pretty straightforward table so today's uh, question right is about uh, let's go through the question it's going to cover uh, uh, various aspects and various um, uh, where clause uh, right uh, but before I start the video, I request you all to please subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Uh, I've been getting very positive comments and uh, uh, from you guys, and you know it really encourages me to make more videos. So uh, let's let's go through the question. So display those applicants who received multiple job offers and salary offered was equal to final salary, right? So like I say always, uh, you can break down the question into different parts right so display uh, what is my display display means select right so those applicants so clearly they are asking you to uh, select the applicant id right so you can start writing the query always my practice is i'll uh, put a select clause and then immediately put a from clause that way you know i don't need to kind of uh, go with the flow Right, so select those applicants who received multiple job offers. So multiple means more than one, right? I mean, multiple means uh, if there's only one, they would have written one, but only one offer, right? But there multiple means it's greater than one, right? So that means if you see job app, job ID and applicant ID relationship, uh, one job ID, multiple applicants can apply, right? So, and one applicant can apply to multiple jobs, right? So if you see uh, 313, he applied for job id 10 and he applied for job id 20 right so multiple that's why you what you need to do a multi to, uh, how do we come out with the number of jobs we need to use a count function right and we need to use a count function on job underscore id because what we are trying to do is we are trying to find applicants who receive multiple job offers right so immediately when we use a count function immediately it should strike in the mind that it's a group by clause right because count function some function any function comes up you have to do group by okay so you can say group by applicant underscore id but we can't just stop here right because if you see what this is going to give you is it's going to give you an applicant id uh, and number of jobs they applied right so if you see some of them applied only one job some of them two jobs some of them three jobs right so here they're saying multiple job offers that means more than one right so that means you need to have a count function Okay, so that means having count of job underscore ID greater than one, right? You need more than one, right? So if you run this query, it is giving you the data that you need, right? But again, if you see, right? I mean, if you if you were to see this and then uh, it's two, two and three, right? But who received multiple job offers, right? So that means we need to put the uh, the offer received is equal to yes also right because we need those people who have received the job offer right we need to put this clause okay so if you do this the other three and all went away why because even though they applied to the job they did not receive the offer correct so if you see this table right uh, not everybody received the offer right so I'm putting it with yes, but if I just query the table, 
then you will see that there are many people who did not receive the offer right so we need to exclude those people because you know we they received the offer right so that's there is a clause that we need to put in right so that's that's why putting this clause okay so is this is this finally an answer uh, is this correct answer that's it we should stop Do, is there any other uh, uh, any other clause that is mentioned in the query in the, in the question we need to read it again display those applicants so we are displaying who received multiple job offers so we are doing a count we are saying more than one count okay and salary offer was equal to received multiple job offer so we put yes also here offer received and there is one more clause they're saying and salary offered was equal to final salary right so if you see this if you see this right even though this guy if you see uh, this guy received the job offer yes okay and offer accepted was also yes so this will come right this person will come in the job in the in the job id in the, in the, in the query because this both is true right offer received is yes okay and but final salary and salary offered are they matching no where it is matching is it matching here yes okay so here we can just test it out right where we can say salary underscore offered uh, i one one suggestion i have here is uh, that you should um, you know first of all you should instead of writing this where clause here i would say write a query on the raw data because that will give you a sense of whether you are working with correct data set or not right i mean uh, see for the data analyst right uh, you always i mean you analyze more data right that data engineering team has processed for you but you need to make sure your data set is correct right that is something that as a data analyst you need to uh, make sure that your data set is is the data set that you are working on right is correct okay so if you see here okay only these two people are coming okay so this 319 and 323 okay so if you see if when you put this clause only these two people are coming okay so when you uh, put this clause over here what will be our output it is not going to be those people okay the reason i say that is because if you see the data set right one applicant id one job one applicant id one job what is written in this clause multiple job offers right so we are putting written and so what should be the our output our output should be nothing okay so here the output is coming because i put a i put a comment here okay so without without putting a clause of salary offered and final salary right uh, what is happening there are 313 315 326 those three candidates basically received the offer and they applied to multiple jobs also okay but are their salary final salary matching and salary offer matching let's check with 315 okay let's check with 315 candidate id 315 so if you see 315 he applied to this job he got the offer but he did not end up accepting the offer right so that means final salary and salary offer will not is not there right because none of accept the offer 315 here also he applied the job did not uh, uh, accept the offer so here is not coming if you see 326 326 is yes and no 376 again yes and no right so all those people who apply to multiple job offers they, their final salary is not matching to salary offered right and wherever it is matching they apply to only one job so if we remove this comment our output is null because there is nobody which is matching this scenario correct right now if they said that okay uh, don't give me uh, even if one person has applied the job they say they don't they remove this who received job offer for example okay who received job offer and salary was equal to this so if you do this what will happen it will come up correct because 319 and 323 is where you are getting a match and they apply to one job right so that way they will come up because they, we removed the condition of multiple job offers right correct 
so if you remove this like if you if you were to answer this question right no nothing will come up for the original question because there is nobody which is matching this clause right the conditions they have written right so this is very important you know uh, it they could trick you in the interview that you know they because they because nobody will imagine this in an interview right that uh, you know there will be some answer but here it is to trick you to make sure that you know you are writing a correct query right and for data analyst especially i would say this is very important because see for data and data engineering team right i mean what is their job they load the data they look at different files and then they write a, a code in a informatica mapping right or any other etl tool and then or sql with unix and then they load the data but data analyst job starts when the data is already stored right in the data warehouse or let's say you are directly querying the sql the data is stored so you need to make sure you work with the correct set of data so initially when you uh, want to validate the data right you supposed to make sure you are pulling the correct set of data right i mean you are putting all the filters on the data set itself and then you know you are getting the data so here uh, you can get just only this data it's okay when you pull your initial data right okay so but but when you put offer is equal to yes you are reducing the number of rows right i mean for your analysis which is very important for data analyst job okay uh, so i hope you found this video helpful um, you know i know it was a tricky one with multiple clauses uh, right i mean but this kind of questions does come up uh, you know sometimes um, if you if, if an interviewer want to trick you and want to really find there's you have a confidence then they can throw up this kind of question okay it is rare but yeah it does come up okay all right thanks all if you like my content please uh, like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you